Hello, my name is Mayu Bunny and I am playing Windowsill. Um, I bought this, uh, I think it was two years ago now, or I don't know if I bought it if it was free, it's been that long, but I absolutely adore this game. There is something so nice about it, it's just a point and click, it's really simple. There are legs. You just gotta make your way through it, that, that is... quite simply all you got to do but it is really simple it's nice it's colorful when I turn the light on as you can see there is a bulb Ta -da! Th this is all the game is just this this <laughs> but it's just so sweet you are just you are this having to run along but the animation is really fluid. Uh, it says Vector Park in the corner. I don't know if that's who made it or what. I really do need to look in to see if there's any more by the people who made this. And the sounds are so simple. There isn't, there's no music. It's all you have. I love that sound, the sound of cables. I love going... I love going underneath bridges. Something to bake you up. I, lo I love it. But all the little tiny noises and the things you can click on. You can click on pretty much anything. Sounds like the house on fire. Definitely an odd sound for that. Ooh, very graceful. Like a ballet dancer. See that that's all you pretty much get. You get like an ambient noise and it's very simple. That's pretty much it. You just, your target is to get the block in the square hole above the door and you're ready to carry on. Oh wait. Gotta show you everything. Okay, now we're done. Let's keep that. But yeah, I've managed to rake up three hours playing this game. It's a game that I always go back to. It's something that's so nice about it. It's relaxing. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, I should probably knock these down first and then do those. Because while we wait for the hand to pick them up, I will Everything is interactable. Actually, can I? Ah, oh, my mouse just changed when I hover over the hand, but I can't seem to do anything. So look, even I don't know if you can see that in the left eye. Um wiggling that tree. Space. The final frontier. Okay, okay, let's carry on. As you can see, that uh, title screen! Woohoo! Windowsill! I love this game. I'm actually, I'm actually recording this on Valentine's Day, but I, I just love that that's how the relationship that my fiance and I have is I am sat here doing the recording and he's quite happy about it. He's actually sat behind me uh, probably making music or the moment he's thinking about 
making a game, he, he's, he's bought a piece of software and he's messing around. So watch the space. I don't know if you can see my mouse, I think I have hidden it, but the bird's following it. It's not looking at the car, he's watching where my mouse is going. Thank you. There's just all these small little details that just make this so nice. The sounds, but as I said, there's no music, but the sounds do make it. And I think that's what they've done. You, 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 there is a lot to hear. not even rushing through this I'm, I'm trying to show you as much as I can um, give me that give me that okay I wonder where these go then there we go There's something so nice about being able to sit here and play games and record it and share it with you guys. It, it's something that obviously a lot of people have been doing recently, but sometimes you get stuck with things to talk to, but, uh, talk about, to talk to, I'm talking to you. Um, but just sat here naturally, like, because I'm, I'm a bit of a ranter as it is, but the, it's nice being able to rant and hopefully maybe there's someone listening. Um, obviously my fiance and I talk a lot, we talk about absolutely random crap, but it's nice to be able to talk about random crap with people that might be random too. If you listen. It would be nice to know if someone's listening. This will literally only be my second uh, playthrough of the game that I'll be posting. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that I am meant to be doing like a bit more of an introductory video, but I haven't quite got around to doing it, even though I should be recording that fairly soon. I am going to try and bring out a video. Uh, it would be nice to do every day, but even if it's every couple of days, at least that's more than I was expecting from myself, really. It's just so sounds. I really hope you guys are wearing headphones while listening to this. Unfortunately, I, I'm, I still haven't got my setup with my mic. So, um, I realised in my last video, I listened to it back and it was peaking a lot. And the, the sound of the gameplay was also quite loud. But I will hopefully be able to sort that out. Okay, so just saying my fiance, I'm just going to say Artoast, that's his um, tag name. Um, but yeah, Artoast, he, he sort of um, works with a lot of tools, obviously, as I said, he's done with the gaming software. Um, and But he works with Ableton a lot, so he'll be able to make sure that uh, all sounds don't peak. And, um, you should be able to... Mm -hmm hear the most out of what's going on. I realise I've talked in the most of the sounds that are going on. You see, there's so many things to click on. Love that sound, the sound of the wind. Artos love sound of thunderstorms and the rain. Oh, if it's raining, doesn't matter what the temperature, he'll be out there. And my favorite. 
the eyes follow as well that there's just a little bit of extra coding in there to do that oh it's watching the door now okay now it's back to us there we go goodbye eyeballs and things okay this one when i first played it took me so long to do because to be fair if you don't really can i achieve Because, ah, uh, before I used to knock every single one down. There we go. Those there, brace will put back up anyway. That's part and parcel of the um, uh, animation, as you can see. They're already put back in. Okay, so uh, this is all about getting a cloud out. It took me so long to do this first time. I think maybe. Uh, five or ten tries, something ridiculous like that. Things picking up. So first, I had no idea what I was doing. I, I had a, I found the earth and then the cloud and the legs. I was like, what am I doing now? And I'm picking up the wind speed. No, 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 no. Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. And then we should have some cube brain. And there should be. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme another one. Oh, oh. <laughs> See what I did? Oh, oh, oh. Do I have one? Do I have one? Is this gonna be. Oh, okay. One, this one yes there we go that's what i was waiting for you can see why this that will might be quite hard but not hard in the way of um impossible just that it might take you a couple of tries first time around or you might do it first time around and i'm just the one that can't play <laughs> i like to think i am okay at games i've been playing rusty lake hotel and um, in my last video, I did spend an astronomical time on the water jump. I must confess, I had to look up a walkthrough because uh, I, I'd never been able to do it ever since. Well, I knew about the puzzle anyway, and then I watched it on, um, not, not so much watched it on, but obviously in Die Hard they did it as well. But just know um, I'm not bad at maths. But for some reason, when it comes to that jug puzzle, there is just no way I could do it on my own. Not a hope in hell. Nope. Anyway, back to this game. Once again, more, more clicking, more, more objects. But it's just, I don't know if you can... It sounds like the ocean, or just sort of a gentle breeze, I'm not sure which one they were really going for. But, once again, we've got more objects, and it, it's like the colours are really simple. you sort of got some darkers, but you've got your pastels, and just the motion, the movement, it should, and you can click on any of them, you after you grab them once, you can grab them as many times as you want. Seems so sad. Uh, bye. Something really satisfying about that because when you make paper airplanes, they don't actually go as far as you want them to. But in this, it's something so satisfying about gravity, it will come back. <laughs> I, I promise uh, it will come back. Got like a flying balloon. I'm not even sure what that's meant to be. A claw? A wheel? Okay, there's the paper. Come in, come in, come in. And it's gone. Just these objects, they're so 
satisfying to watch and click on and it's a really relaxing game you just I like to go through it at my ledger obviously I'm going a little bit faster here than I normally would ah uh, squishy Uh, I picked up a little one. Two feet, two feet. Squish. Squish. Okay. Uh, oh, the house. The house is going to pop around. A bit like of a Wizard of Oz kind of... Actually, yeah, it, it's a bit of a Wizard of Oz moment here with all the things flying around. And it's all a bit random. So think of this as the calm inside of a tornado. I guess that would be a good way. Is this the really creepy one? Is this the creepy one? Yeah. Reminds me of a forest spirit, though. Obviously, forest spirits are used to paint as little white creatures. But their face. That face is very forest spirity. Paper airplane. Love how fast the paper airplane goes. Oh, hang on. There's the pipe. There's the pipe. There's the pipe. <clears throat> Come here, Squishy. Squishy. It's not even really a squish, is it? It's, it's just kind of a... Okay, one more time with the paper over Because... Some point. There we go. It's the pipe that gives you, uh, for some reason, logic unknown to me. The pipe smoke turns into a cube. I actually have never really counted the levels. I think uh, there are four levels now, and there's only maybe two more. I think, or well, three more, I believe. I see the moon, the moon sees me. Don't know the rest of it, so I'll just breathe. Okay, so I need this one, and there he is. The man in the moon's moon. Yeah, the man in the moon's moon. Tell me some. Okay, he's got the cube. This one also took me a while. I, I have no idea why some of these took me so long when I first played it. Um, but it's pretty obvious to me now. Wait, wait, I don't have to just a um, Because if he could hold on to the cube, then he can hold on to me. Well, I guess not me per se, but... Ah, come back here. Did that last time as well. Wait for a satisfying clank. There we go. Technically, I can just go for a ride now. Oh god, that looks so awkward. Okay. That was just for pure fun. Drop, drop, drop. Usually he does drop. There we go. He dropped. Bye, guys. I just love the, the, the little animation that, that they want. Well, it's not even really animation. It's the fact that they do follow you no matter what. Oh, I know what the cube is. I already knew what the cube is. Unfortunately, I can't close all of his eyes. He's got so many eyes. Okay, can get the cube. As I said, I don't, I don't want to make this too long. But it's just... Can I get this in one? Can I get this in one? I can get it in one. You can tell that, obviously, if, if the purple one lets go of me, that, um... The one with the main picks me up again and puts me back to the beginning. 
Okay. Uh, yes, I am gonna go through every single door I want you to see. I'm gonna force you to watch. I'm gonna leave no mystery unturned. There's the cube. But no, I can't grab it. There is a system to this. Oh, I have another one down there. <clears throat> and yes, I already do know the system, but I have to see if I can remember it. There is... I, I need to open a, a series of doors for... Um... Oh, what's the word for it? Oh, brain for... Oh, dear. It is pretty much a se sweet sequence, sequence of, of events that get the cube to me. I love this one. Wait. There we go. It's fluffy. I wish I had something actual floofy in my life. Just something to floof. There is actually a lot going on in this. I always thought there was just a boulder. It glows. There is a you can actually click on the ones down here, but as they're quite far down, sometimes you can't quite see everything that's going on. So that's like... It looks like the shape of those toy wooden cards that you give to children. I have no idea what's in there. Anything? Anything can happen? Nope. Guess not. That's a giant nose. <laughs> it's quite funny because I realised when watching my last video as well, because obviously I'm going to watch it through to, to see how stupid I look, which I, I think I look fairly ridiculous, you know, as you do. But, um, I, uh, I realised that you can actually hear my computer. Um, I think I did explain before that my computer is incredibly old, uh, about 10 years old, um, and, okay, am I doing this right? Put that, then get to my blower, that one, oh, 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 yep, always this one. Um, No, 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 I need that finger. I need the finger. Okay, I think I've got everything else that I need. Everything out that I need. Um, but yeah, you can hear my computer because it is so old that it... Uh, most computers nowadays are silent. You've got to think technically... Um, like when you're using a phone or a tablet, there is nothing to be heard. And most computers sound like that nowadays. But... Unfortunately, with the age of mine, with the XP, it is loud, really loud, which will be nice when I have um, a mic actually set up, we can probably try and get rid of some of that background noise. I can't play all games on here, unfortunately. I've tried to play some rather simple, um, even just indie games. A uh, Rusty Lake Hotel works, but I tried to play Doors. Um, oh, what was the other one I tried to play? I tried to play something else as well, and it just... This computer just crashes it. That's it. Um, obviously, it did give me an error report that I could send to the developer of the game, but I thought there's no point in that because I know it's a mistake with my computer, not with their programming. Um, so... But I'll play that, obviously, on my uh, Fiat Atos uh, laptop instead. That should work 
just fine. They've got the same set I've got, Frat's got. Um, obviously, I've just got a webcam so that can be um, put onto his laptop instead. But I'm hoping, I am, I'm literally going to beg for my birthday this year. Um, ironically, my mum might actually watch this, but mum, if you're watching, or I'm probably going to talk to you tomorrow anyway, but I'm going to talk to both my brother and my mum, not anyone else. <laughs> um, uh, and that I'm just going to beg for a computer for my birthday, because I've, I've loved playing games, but I've just gotten out of touch with playing it, uh, playing loads of games, and I'd love to get back into it, and after watching so many YouTubers play a whole array of some fantastic games, um, I just feel compelled to do the same myself, and obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm recording myself playing it as well, and it might seem a little cliche, there's loads of people doing it now, but it's just something I want to do, and I've just got nothing going on at the moment, and I've essentially failed at a lot of things and I feel like this is something that I might be able to finally put some effort into doing so I want to try and wholeheartedly do this you know just really persevere um, but yeah as you can see we are getting to the end of the game obviously Stay to heaven, nice little metaphor, reach for the stars, I love that. There's just something so nice about this game. Um, it's all ages. Um, essentially, it's a nice little game that kids can play because there's a lot of things to look at. They're little puzzles. They're not particularly hard. Um, I should not be that hard at all. First time you do it you can go back to it again and again and finish it really quickly. I don't know how long this is taking me now, but it's, I have taken my time, I've clicked on literally everything else, it's still, as you can see, things to click on. <clears throat> you do have to sometimes just stop and watch. I'm not going silent because there's something amazing going to happen. Um, these are little amazing animations anyway. Um, the fluidness. I'd love to know what made this game. Um, what programming. Maybe Vector Park is the program. I don't think so. I'll, I'll try and put a bit more information. Um, down below, perhaps a website or something. I will do my research because I love this game and I would love to know if they've done something more with it. Just those colours are fantastic. I, I love that they've choos chosen vivid colours instead of um, something fairly mundane because th this could have essentially been a very plain boring game it, uh, also on the other end of the spectrum it could have been even brighter but i kind of like that they haven't gone crazy because then it would look like a kid's game this is something that um hence why i was drawn to it it's it's me to a team essentially I love these little puzzle games where it's not too complicated, it's not too hard, but it's something you can enjoy over and over again. There's another game I'm going to be playing called The Room, and I've had that on my phone, I've had it on my tablet, and now I finally got it on my computer as well. I'm hoping this computer can run it, if not I'll do it on the laptop, but it's a game I've played loads and loads of times and I get stuck on it every single time. It's like coming back to a whole new game every time. A little bit like this one. Every time I play it again, I don't get stuck. Not quite like that, but I get amazed again about what I'm seeing. It's like the peacock. The, the, those colours, I love them. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, maples. 
And here he is again, my little friend in the sky. He's free to be who he wants to be. That's how I feel about myself, actually. Oh, my head's always in the clouds. That's for sure. I won't deny that one. Oh, and I forgot to say, the uh, the little fisherman, um, you know there's a little clown puppet, so when you pull the string, the arms do a very jerky jig. It's very much like that. That's um, almost how they've done the animation for the fisherman. But it's nice, because that's what it made me think of, and I used to have it as a kid. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, we actually have now reached the official, when it spells it correctly, end. Oh, I do highly recommend this. And it's, I believe, I, I read that it's available on the iPad now, so computer, iPad, uh, wherever you want to play it. Um, I'll put a link in the description, obviously, and hopefully a little bit more information. And that's it for now. It's kind of sad when it finishes. Well, anyway, hope to see you in the next video. Bye!